Earthquakes are a sudden release of energy, causing the ground to shake and tremble. Anything that hasn't been secured might be thrown to the ground. Unsecured water heaters that are thrown to the ground are responsible for many house fires. For example, in the 1994 Northridge earthquake, 67% of house fires were caused by hot water heaters that toppled over. Now, Please note, many people think their water heaters are secured. However, if your tank is strapped with plumber's tape, it will likely fall in an earthquake. Plumber's tape is not strong. It is so thin it can be easily snapped in two by simply bending it a few times. Water heaters must be secured with heavy-duty metal strapping. Kits like this are available at many hardware stores. Step 1. Determine if your tank is in direct contact with the wall. If so, attach it with the across the front method. For this demonstration, our tank is away from the wall, requiring the wraparound method. Step 2. Open your kit and familiarize yourself with its contents and basic instructions. We will demonstrate each step to show you how easy it is to secure your water heater. A drill is not necessary, but we'll make it easier. Step 3. Is your tank by the walls, a corner, on straight walls, tight in a cabinet, or six inches or more from a wall? Our tank is away from the wall and requires the installation of a 2x4. After measuring and cutting, we use lag bolts and washers to attach the 2x4 to the studs. Step 4. Find your wall studs. Water heater straps must be attached to the wall studs. Mark on the wall where you will install the straps. Place one strap within the top one-third of the tank. Place the lower mark approximately four inches above the controls. Please note, if you have steel studs, call 1-800-289-6257 for lag screw replacement instructions. Step 5. Attach short straps on one side of your tank. Both straps have self-tapping screws. Tap the lag screw into the stud with a hammer before tightening, then tighten with a wrench or drill. Step 6. Attach long straps on the other side of the water heater with a wrench or drill. Step 7. Our water heater requires feeding the back spacer onto the long strap, so we do step 8 first, then step 7. And step 8 is wrapping the long strap around the tank like this. Slide the spacer around to the rear of the tank. Step 9. Trim the end of the long straps three inches past the center line of the tank. Step 10A. Put the tension clamps on the long straps. Step 10B. Pull slack back against the strap. Step 10C, crease the strap at the slot on the buckle. Step 11, reinforce the crease on both sides with a pair of pliers. Step 12. 
Adjust the tensioning clamps so that they are about two and a quarter inches apart. You can adjust them by pulling more or less strap through the buckle. Step 13. Install the carriage bolt, nut, and washer through the clamp as shown. Step 14. Tighten until snug. Don't over tighten, because that can damage your water heater. Two straps are required to prevent the tank from sliding out during an earthquake. Step 15. After the installation is complete, it is important to periodically check the straps for tightness.